It's Kingdom, and today I'm back with another Tuesday tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my firecracker whistle or bass whistle, whatever you want to call it. Check it out, though. For this technique, you need two things. You need a outward whistle, just any type of. It could be low. It could be super high pitch. Just you need a. That's first thing. Second thing, you need the first step of my vocalized chest bass tutorial. If you guys remember this from a while ago, I taught you guys how to. Whoa, whoa! But before we added the voice, it was just that grunt. You need to bring that back because we're gonna be using that without the voice. So no, whoa, today. But we're still chest basing so you need like a chest base push so once you have those two parts that I mean that that's pretty much it I'm not gonna break down how to do an outward whistle because that was last week's tutorial go check that out I'm not gonna break down how to do vocalized chest bass or how to do the push like do the grunting noise but because I already did that in the vocalized chest bass video too so if you guys need those check it out I have the Kindos tutorials playlist it's like 40 plus tutorials in there and they're all in order too so if you you'll find it you'll just scroll through scroll through you'll see vocalized chest bass oh there, there it is go check that video out okay so just wanted to clear that up because i don't want to reteach techniques and then make this another big 10 minute video when i've already put 10 minutes on it on another video you know what i'm saying so hopefully that makes sense but yeah let's, let's get into this first thing i want you to just try to go for a And you heard mine was a little shaky just now, okay? I'm not, you doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfection yet, okay? So just get your outward whistle comfortable, okay? Now notice when you're doing this, we're just blowing out air, right? Like if we took the whistle tone away, we're going, right? I want you to do the same thing, but you're gonna do use that chest push. Now, here's the thing with this whistle. My biggest tip to you guys really 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 work it okay don't try this sound for like an hour and be like oh i can't do this kingdom screw this sound this one takes a while because it's it's it kind of contradicts what i usually tell you guys about whistles i tell you guys oh positioning has to be right the airflow has to be right this one is more about correct position the push i mean you can't really do a light you can't really do a light chest bass you're gonna push on this one okay so that might be tricking you guys up. That's my big tip to you guys. If you aren't able to hit it right off the start at the beginning, you the air on this one might be tricking you up. Some of you guys might be pushing way too hard. A lot of you guys, I promise you, are probably pushing not enough for this one specifically, okay? So, just go for your same same thing how we're going. Find your, now you're gonna chest base it and, and you can hear how the whistle's going like and it like has that high pitch break in it. Okay, I promise you guys I'm not like I'm not like like tightening my face or or I'm not pushing air hard That's all coming from just And then adding that chest push on top. Okay It just it literally once you add that Behind it it just happens it starts to hit and Right, you're able to just once you start working this you'll see what I mean the notes like how I'm going it's actually a lot easier because if you can control the you can control that whistle okay so the positioning is the main thing on this but don't really worry about the push I don't want you to worry on the airflow on this one just because this one you're gonna have to kind of push anyways and you can hear even when I'm doing the it's almost like a I know it's we're in chest bass but it almost has that like a like a cough snare like if i go <coughs> hear it <coughs> there is a <coughs> there's a push a literal push with this okay so just sorry i'm kind of bouncing everywhere with this tutorial i know we're supposed to usually go in steps and orders of how we do it. i'm kind of bouncing everywhere but there's just a lot you really have to kind of take in consideration here is that don't overthink it it's just you can already okay and you can already whoa okay so and some of you guys might just get it like that which is that's great if you're able to just awesome okay if you kind of have what i had where i heard the tone i could hear the that that i could hear it but it was in the air it was like 
I'd go like that and I could hear it. And I was like, oh, dude, if I could get that to be a tone, that would be so cool. And it was so airy. So from there, I had to kind of sit there. And what I, my big problem was I was actually too light. At the time, I just learned how to, this is years ago, but I just learned how to go and vocalize it. So I knew how light you have to be with pushing that. Got to be light. So this one, I was kind of going. And you hear that? Just like that. I'm so glad that just happened. Thank you. Like you saw you saw how that little squeak happened and then it goes away. I was literally having that. And I was like, oh, I can, if I could just get that to be a tone, that would be it. You know what I mean? And it kept happening where it would squeak real quick. Almost, almost like your smoke alarm. You know, when your smoke alarm needs a new battery and it goes real quick. <laughs> I kept having that happen, but I couldn't. It would like hit and it would go to, okay? Because I was pushing too light. So if you're having that same problem right now, I promise you, because I know you're like, Bakindo, it's a whistle. I know, but trust me on this. <clears throat> Just push it. Just <clears throat> give it some, give it some force. And <clears throat> okay, I know it's a, it's a very weird whistle. Okay, I really don't know how I, f I don't know how my beatbox brain went. Oh, you're trying to learn Big Ben bass. Okay, we're gonna do chest bass, and we're. I don't know how I got to that point. I really was just trying to go for that, that tone of Big Ben's bass when he does, I think it's in the I'm a big boy routine. I could be wrong, but he does that, the, the I can't do his bass either, but the or whatever he does, that whole thing like that. His is a tooth whistle though. Like I said, that's all I was aiming for was that tone. Okay, so I don't really know how I got to, how I figured this out, like to use chest bass, but it works. Okay, and it's a really cool whistle where you can, it, you can just kind of, you have a little bit more control over this than most whistles. Most whistles, you really have to build it, get the positioning correct, then you have control. You know what I mean? It really takes a while. This one's kind of one where you can kind of manipulate it a bit from the beginning and kind of start messing with it from there and then grow it. Like I said, it's not a regular whistle where you have to, or you can, like it's not where the airflow really matters because you're going to have to push on this one anyway. So... That's what I keep saying in this video. I know I keep sounding, I keep repeating myself sounding like a broken record, but really go to the mirror and just work on the position. Because if you have, and you have, you just put them together and there it is. Like it, it just kind of happens. Um, the only other advice I could give you guys, and I don't know if this is going to work. This kind of worked for me. Okay. Try it with a PF snare. <laughs> if that happens to, I don't know why, but I remember I was in high school and I remember I wanted to do this during the talent show. And like an hour before the talent show, we had to be there, sit in the theater, be ready. And I was sitting there going, <sighs> I was like, ah, it's not working. And I, I remember this back then because I was learning the sound. I was like, ah, Kindo, do the PF snare thing. So I started going, <laughs> <laughs> like even just now, I don't know if you noticed that. That's probably the loudest I got it this whole video. I don't know what it is with that PF snare thing. And maybe it's just me. However, I've taught two of my students this and they said it works too. So I'm kind of like, well, I'm on to something. I just can't explain what that something is. Um, I think it's the, psh, psh. I think the psh is setting our mouth up to push out that air. Cause I told you guys, this one takes some air and you really got to push it. So that's the only thing I could think of why that works, but just a little random side tip for you guys. If you need that, if you're like, oh, Kendo, I did this two, three day for maybe a week and all of a sudden I can't do it. I had the same problem, dude, and I don't know why, a PF snare when I would push it hard and go <gasps> The whistle would happen like that. I, I, I don't know why, but I just wanted to throw that out there. I always, with all my tutorials, I want to give you guys my advice. I don't want to just be like, step one, put your lips together. Step two, drop the job. We can liberal. Congrats, bro. Subscribe to my channel. Like I don't, I don't want to be fake to you guys. Like if I went through lip roll struggles or whatever the sound is, and I went through struggles, I'm gonna tell you guys about them because then maybe you guys might go through the same struggle. So one, you don't feel alone. Two, at least if you know if I did it, and now you're doing it, you're like, ah, oh, Kindo, I can't. Oh, there, there. Oh, he was right. At least it's working. You know what I'm saying? So 
I always just try to throw all my little personal, I try to throw the tips on how to do the sound, and I always throw my personal tips at the end, my little advice of what I went through, struggles, what it may sound like at first, how it'll develop, da 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 da, -da and all that stuff. So yeah, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm always trying to help you guys with anything and everything beatbox. And leave a comment down below. Maybe there's a new tutorial, maybe there's a new sound you want me to work on, or maybe there's a specific tutorial you're like, ah, Kindo's, Kindo's posted 40 tutorials, man, and he hasn't posted, you know what, let me know. If you guys need help, you guys already know the deal, leave a comment down below as well, or hit me up on social medias. So you guys already know this, that every video in the description, check it out right now, I have a thing, I think it's called LinkedIn, or Linktree, but it'll say LinkedIn or Linktree slash Kindo Beats. Click that link and then you guys will find all and everything Kindo. The World of Beatbox Discord server, my Facebook, the Facebook page, my personal Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, to everything. Okay, so go check that out in the description of this video if you guys need. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys and I will see you for the next whistle tutorial. <laughs> Did this tutorial help? Leave a comment and let me know. I love to see feedback from you guys so I can see what's working and what needs more work for the tutorials. Thank you to Mac for providing the sweet music you heard in this video. Click the link in the description below to check out more of his music and give him a follow on Instagram. Massive shout out to CTB for creating my logo, from the Kindo logo, the Human Beatbox logo, and more. CTB has created a ton of popular logos you guys see in the beatbox scene today. If you need your own custom logo, be sure to find CTB on his social medias. I put them in the description below. And while you're down there checking the description below, be sure to find me on all of my social media, from Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, everything. I'm on it all. You can find them in the description below. I recently just started doing Friday live streams on Instagram and Saturday live streams on YouTube as well, so be sure to find my social medias and keep up to date with everything. Have you heard of the World of Beatbox? It's my Discord server where we throw weekly jams and game nights. Once a month on the server, I throw a workshop as well where I teach you some of my best tips, tricks, and advice with Beatbox. I'll answer all of your guys' questions, and then we have a big jam after the workshop. I left the link for you guys in the description below. Check it out. I hope to see you guys on the server soon. Head on over to my Patreon for a ton of exclusive Kindo content from monthly lessons to behind the scene footage, bloopers, exclusive tutorials, Kindo merch, and more. There's so much happening on my Patreon. Check it out in the description below. Do you need a specific type of beatbox? Maybe you need a custom beat or even want a personal Kindo shout out? From beatboxing and movie scenes to commercials to even beatboxing for the Santa app on Alexa, I've literally done it all. Find me on Fiverr so we can discuss more on what specifics you're looking for or what you need. Link in the description below. And last but not least, thank you for watching. Please give a like and subscribe as it helps my channel a ton. I upload two or more videos for you guys every single week and I hope you guys have been enjoying the content lately. Thank you again and have yourself a blessed day.